Just imagine you arrived in a new country, leaving some of your family, friends, pets and favourite toys behind. A lot of families arrive looking for a fresh start and to build a new life. This, this is, is our, our story and we want to share it with you. The night before I started my new school, my stomach was just like a washing machine on the fastest spin. My brain was like a gold racing car, speeding at zillion gajillion miles an hour far into space. I had nightmares thinking the children would be like giants. What if they made fun of me? What if they thought I was stupid? I felt so alone. When I arrived at school, there were so many children. They were like bees swarming to a classroom. My heart was pounding. I was excited, frightened, helpless. I just wanted to be sick. There were so many corridors. I felt like I was walking for miles, for days, for years, lost in a maze. I just wish there was someone who would show me around. It was the first time I had ever worn a school uniform or even been to school in this country. This tie is so tight. <coughs> I can't breathe. Everyone around me spoke really fast. I couldn't understand a single word. It was all jibbery gobbledy gook to me. It really made me feel sad. How would I ever make a friend if I couldn't understand anyone? Dinner time at school, we all had to line up in a queue. Plates clanging, sounds of food being crunched, drink being slurped. I had never seen food that looked or smelled like that, or even cooked in that way. It's like when you visit another country for the first time. Standing at the front of the class, I was introduced as the new child by the teacher, who couldn't say my name properly. I just wanted the floor to swallow me up and take me to the moon. One day, the teacher asked me to speak in front of the whole class. I felt everyone's big eyes staring at me and the walls closing in on me. When I spoke, I was worried they would laugh because my accent might sound funny to them. I wanted to bury myself deep and never open my mouth. I sat in that class, worried and upset as I couldn't talk with the teacher or any other children. One child did smile at me, which made me feel tall as a tree in the clouds. For days, I sat quietly in my chair, not making a sound. All I wanted was to learn about the history stuff, the kings, queens, and the black plague. Eh, <laughs> rats. Even though I couldn't talk to you in English, I was trying my best. I didn't want the class to get upset or angry with me. Just imagine if this were you. Weeks passed by, and at playtime, I watched a thousand smiling faces playing games, laughing, screaming, and singing. I just want someone to race me, to pass me the ball, and let me join in. It's hard when no one knows your name, or feels they can't talk to you because you don't speak the same language. Everyone just wants to make new friends, and you can help by smiling and asking me to play. It would really help me if you learned to say hello or do you want to play in my language. It can, it can take, take a while to get used to new things. Now I'm beginning to settle more in school. I've made some new friends. I love macaroni cheese and my English is starting to improve. I feel a lot happier. I can also see other people for who they are rather than a crowd of strangers. This is our story, but you have the chance to make things better for someone else starting a new school. A school just like yours. All you have to do is smile, let them play with you and learn to say their name. That was awesome.